The key figure who did this was a psychologist called Geoffrey Hinton. He was the great-great-grandson of George Boole, who had invented Boolean logic that is behind all the algorithms in modern computers. In the 1990s, Hinton realised that the idea that you can create AI by feeding rules of human logic into the machines had completely failed. What Hinton said was that you do the opposite. You get rid of all the rules of logic and instead feed a mass of data into the computer and let it look for its own connections and patterns. He used what were called neural networks, where the connections inside the computer mimicked the human brain. Back in the 90s, there was a completely different paradigm that wasn't called artificial intelligence, it was called neural networks, that said, we know about an intelligent system, it's the brain. And the way that works is you have lots of little processes with lots of connections between them, and you change the strengths of the connections, and that's how you learn things. And those connection strengths change have to somehow be driven by data. You're not programmed, you somehow absorb information from data. And you can't do it with rules, there's too many rules to write. You just have to learn it from data. Now, that data was available online. And Hinton began to feed millions of words and images into the machines and instructed them to look for patterns. To learn a language, the neural network would look for which particular words appeared next to each other in the billions of sentences they were scanning and which were far apart. The machine is not interested in the meaning of the sentence, only the patterns. It was a completely different way of making sense of reality. Human beings told themselves stories about what was happening around them minute by minute. Hinton's neural networks were a kind of intelligence that completely ignored all stories. Instead, they crossed back and forth across time and space as they searched through data on the internet, looking for links and patterns that human beings would never be able to see or understand. Hinton began to work on artificial intelligence at Google and he gave what he had created a name. He called it Vector World. It expressed what was becoming one of the most powerful mythologies of our age. The idea that had begun with complexity theory in the early 1990s. It said that the world is too complicated for us as human beings to understand. But nothing is too complicated for the machines and the data. For they can see the hidden reality under the surface.